Nice Thanksgiving. The weekend is over. We are back to reality. Back to work and all. Back with the stuff. Anyway, my name is Ronell Higgs. Listen, check this out. So, went back to work today. And, you know, first thing I heard was from, the, you know, the sports fans and all is, Hey, man, did you see the fight? <clears throat> The Andre War fight that was. That was the fight that everyone was talking about. They weren't talking about the Lomachenko Nicholas Walters fight. They was asking me about the Andre War bout. I said, yeah, I saw it. I said, I seen it twice. I said, I seen it, you know, last week. And I seen it uh, this week, you know, when they showed it free on HBO. He was like, yeah, man. He was like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pissed off, man. It was like, yo, that dude got robbed, man. Like, yo, man, I'm done with boxing, man. I'm, I'm just finished. But me, I said to myself, that, you know, the right guy got the right decision. I mean, to be honest with you, when I was uh, watching the fight and I seen War get knocked down, I ain't gonna lie, I was like, yo, it's over. Kovalev gonna stop War, you know? Goes to show how much wrong I was. However, though, you know, I, I just want to say one thing, yo. I mean, so what? It, it's this this fight here really didn't do that well with the pay per view buys and with the uh, controversial decision. Reason why I say controversial is because the cards are split even now. Okay, it's fifty fifty. But those that watch the fight live, HBO a stream whatever they was already pissed some was was happy with it some would say yeah man ward won some say he didn't now the ones who watched it just this past saturday for the first time now they're they're split it's now 50 50 you know nah man ward lost that fight nah man ward he won that fight nah man he lost you know 50 50 now okay it's controversy a hey, controversy sells you know and with this right here being said you know about him losing and some winning some say he won you know a lot of people are now going to keep their eyes on andre war just to see what he do next you know They they want to see if, if this guy, if some 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 wants to see if he's a real deal. Some wants to see him lose now. Hey, been there before, you know. I've, I've been there before, especially the ones who lost uh, money betting against Ward, you know. Definitely them. I said I've been there before. Like I remember is right when um, Trinidad and Oscar De La Hoya had fought, man. When I first heard that fight was getting made, I was so happy. I was going for Trinidad. You know, I'm saying, yeah, Trinidad, he's going to knock De La Hoya out. This, that, and the third. And I say about a month before the fight had actually happened, uh, I had switched sides. I went with uh, De La Hoya this time. And I put money on De La Hoya. I bet these, these two cats on my job. 50 bucks a piece, you know? And when the fight actually went down, you know, I'm looking at it like, yes. You know, I knew De La Hood was going to do it. I knew he was going to pull it off. I'm looking at the fight, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I made, you know, the right decision. You know? Now, I'm going to tell you what made me go with De La Hoya. What made me switch sides. This is when De La Hood was undefeated, of course. Number one, he was fighting in Las Vegas. Okay, that's that's his home. That's where the fight was at in, in De La Hoya's backyard, you know, Las Vegas. You know, that's where you always fight. And really, not many people heard of Trinidad, you know. And back then, not unless you was a hardcore boxing fan like, you know, me, myself. You know, I already, already knew what Trinidad can do, you know. 
However, also knew Trinidad had that weak chin. So I, it was going through my mind that De La Hoya might clip him a couple of times, hurt him, probably drop him a couple of times. And if he if he do drop him one, two, three times, the ref will stop the fight. Hey, that's De La Hoya. You know? That's the cash cow, Las Vegas. That's was what was going through my mind. You know? And uh, push come to shove, you know, the fight goes down. I'm looking all good, feeling good, you know. De La Hoya doing his thing. Towards the end, he slowed down. When the decision was read, it went to Trinidad. Damn, I lost money. Had to pay up $100, you know. After that, you know, I had, like, I mean, really, I really, you know, didn't despise Trinidad at first before he fought De La Hoya. But after he fought him, he got the decision. The two dudes, I bet, got my money. I had it out for Trinidad, you know. And I was watching every single fight Trinidad had just because I wanted to see him lose. Or I wanted to see, you know, what he's weak on and all, you know. I mean, we are, we already knew, you know, uh, he had that shaky chin, chin you know. I, I been knew that. But, um, you know, I was just, you know, thinking to myself, you know, I, I just can't wait to see this guy lose. And I had to deal with the Trinidad fans on my job. Okay, now, I must say, this is way before YouTube. This is way before the social social media era, before Facebook, Twitter, and all that, okay? I, I had to go to work every day, deal with the Trinidad fans and his countrymen, okay? Ugh. I mean, y'all talking about trash talking on, you know, Instagram and YouTube, man. If any of y'all remember how it was back then when we didn't have this, you know, I mean, it was all up in your face, you know, right there, you know, couldn't sit down, eat lunch, but now someone saying, yeah, Trinidad is going to do this, you know, he's going to beat Roy Jones right after he beat Roy Jones. He going to move up and fight Tyson right after he fight Tyson. He's going to move up and. Fight Evander Holyfield, then Lennox Lewis, you know, yeah, he's going to be the man. He's going to retire undefeated. He's going to break Rocky Marciano's record. Yeah, he can't be beat. He Puerto Rican, this, that, and the third. You know, they were just talking they trash. I'm pretty sure they didn't believe all the stuff that, that they were saying, you know. But the main thing is I lost money on this joker, you know. Not just once, twice. I also lost money on him. When he uh, fought Fernando Vargas. So he, this this how bad I want to see this guy lose. Just because I lost money the first time. You know. And he got that decision. Which I did not think he deserved. You know. But when whenever you look back at those fights. Now. The fights to me. They look. You know. Different. You know. But let's, let's get back to the point here. How this controversy helped Trinidad. You know. Like I said, people who love Trinidad, people who hated him, just because they lost money on him, was watching this guy, okay? The people who loved him was watching him, to see him win. People who hated him were watching to see him lose, okay? That's what controversy does. See, Floyd Mayweather planted out that blueprint. He said it himself, hey, either they're here to see me win or see me lose. The main thing is they're here to see me. Mayweather said that. So, as time moved on, you know, he, he took out David Reed. I did not bet on that fight. Ben knew he was going to beat David Reed. Then he took out Fernando Vargas. He took out William Joppy. I mean, he, he took out William Joppy before David Reed, you know. Then David Reed and Fernando Vargas. And, oh, man, I had to go back to work, hear all this. Yeah, Roy Jones is next. Hopkins ain't got nothing on him, you know? So, I just, you know, when it came into the, down to the Hopkins fight, I was so used to seeing this guy win. 
Trinidad that was. Thinking to myself, man, I don't think Hopkins, uh, I, I don't think he has a chance. Not really. Man. You know, because Hopkins, I'm going to be, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be straight. All right. When I had, back then, I had uh, HBO and Showtime. But I had to let one of the two go because, hey, you know, <laughs> I had, you know, new responsibilities in my life come up, you know, end up getting a, uh, a new car at the time, you know, and, uh, you know, car payments, car insurance, you know, got to sacrifice some things. So really, I really didn't see Hopkins fight that much, you know, and when I did see him fight, eh, he wasn't really impressive to me at that time. So I'm like, yeah, Trinidad got this, you know, and even when, Trin and when Hopkins fought on HBO for the first time. Um, I forget the guy he, who he fought, tall boy, taller than Hopkins. Hopkins was fighting dirty, and all. I said, man, he has no defense or anything, man. Trinidad going to kill this guy. But when the fight finally went down, I must say again, you know, I was on the batting tables, and then I said, nah, you know, I, I'm not going to do this. Then I ended up that anyway, but this time I went to Trinidad. Because also, you've seen the guy win. You know, although I wanted to see him lose, but I said, well, Roy Jones will get him. Roy Jones will get him. End up going up to that fight. He ended up getting beat up and knocked out. Now, I yes, I had mixed emotions. I was happy and I was sad. I was happy because, you know, hey, I get to go back to work to talk my trash to all the Trinidad fans. And this country, man. Like, hey, what happened? I thought he was going to retire undefeated. I thought he was going to knock out Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis. Huh? What happened? Oh, man. I, I, ew, I must tell y'all, <laughs> it was a war when I went back to work. I mean, everybody who did not like, the, no, I said not everybody, but the people who did not like Trinidad, oh, man. They had took a boxing magazine. Uh, I think it was a ring magazine. Uh, they took the front cover because the front cover had Trinidad on the front from, you know, like like previous fights. They took that, took a black magic marker, drew two circles around his eyes and hung it up by the time clock. <laughs> so when all the Trinidad fans and countrymen come in, first thing, thing they'll see is that picture of Trinidad. And this was like that Monday, right after uh, Trinidad had lost uh, Hopkins on that Saturday. I mean, it was going on all week, all right? Now, like I said, I lost money, yeah, but we had one dude who bet it on Hopkins. He was standing right there in front of the time clock, talking his trash, collecting all his money from all the Trinidad supporters, talking trash, had everyone cracking up. Then, a, a few days later, I mean, somebody went out to this, uh, uh, what do you call it? It was like a... a, a Photoshop place or something like that, a place where they do like uh, uh, posters for concerts and stuff. They went there, spent money to get a poster made up with Trinidad and Hawkins, except they had Trinidad laying down on the canvas, knocked out, with Hopkins standing over top of him, wearing all the championship belts. Okay, they had like I think they got like six of them posters printed up. Hung them all over the place. Hung them at the, uh, the locker room door. Hung them in, uh, at, on, on the men's bathroom door. Hung one by the time clock. Uh, hung them, hung some by the, uh, the lunchroom, the cafeteria. I mean, man. I mean, they were partying. Okay? They were partying. See, that's what, see... This is what controversy does. Controversy sells. Okay? When you got people split 50-50 about something, they won't be 100% on that when it comes down to supporting that person. I mean, they're going to support them to see them win or support them just to see them lose. You know, just like Mayweather said. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like Mayweather said, hey. Whether I'm saying again what he said, either you come to see me win or you either come to see me lose. The main thing is you're paying to see me. 
Okay. It worked. Why do you think Danny Garcia's dad doing what he's doing? It's great controversy. Plus, uh, Danny Garcia, you know, he got some, you know, some wins or so stuff that he really didn't deserve, some people say. But it's building up. Out of all the PBC fighters, Danny Garcia is the most watched. You know, him and uh, Earl Spence. I, I can't say he's the most watched, but Earl Spence, you know. But still, it was some controversy over that as well. You know, some people said uh, it went off right after a football game and stuff. You know, that's why he got all them views and all, man. But, um, yeah, man, controversy sell. And what happened with Andre Ward, for those of us who say, hey, the decision went to the, to the right person, for those who say it did not, We'll be paying attention to this guy more. Andre Ward's going to get the publicity publicity he should have gotten when he came home with the American, uh, with, with the American Olympian. We're going to win in the Olympics for the America, for America, winning the gold, okay? And, and when Andre won, won that gold, I ain't see Andre on no Wheaties box. I ain't see Andre in no commercials, nothing. It was like he got swept under, under the rug. I'm like, yo, what have happened to that Olympic gold medalist? You know? Even when Andre Ward won the Super 6, still ain't do no good for him. You know? I mean, he beat some pretty good fighters. Michael Hessel, Carl Frotch, King Arthur King Abraham, you know, more. You know? Beat some pretty good dudes. You know? But... Still, you know, didn't get no publicity, no no type of a uh, credit for it. I mean, from his fans, yeah, but from the majority, nah. I mean, it wasn't like he was Sugar Ray or Oscar De La Hoya when he brought home the gold, you know. Even them days over, but this right here, late in his career, I mean, 32 years old, he got this, and this is going to help him out. Once again, I'm Ronell. I'm out.